Hey everyone, I wanted to give you some advice on uh, gearing up in this game. So I'm level 17 with my protagonist and then my others are around 12 to 14. And I really needed some gear. So my friend told me to just run to like the next quest area for my campaign for a character. Uh, and just start stealing stuff. Use uh, your characters to interact with NPCs and just uh, steal stuff or if your Oswald or your Ochet can like duel them and win and take their stuff uh, That works too. I'm just showing the path I took to get to like one of these towns I started from where Agnea the Agnea the dancer where she Starts her campaign. I started from there because you could just fast travel there and then I'm gonna run to another higher level town also, so I'm not 100% sure on this. I don't think the game ever tells you, but you can see my minimap is red, right? And then when I stop running, it stops being red. So I think uh, if you're sprinting, just it turns red because you have like a higher chance of entering combat. So once you get to like a higher level area, just just try walking it. You, you should get in combat less. And then if they're too strong, just just use the flee option every time. So like right now, I'm in an area where um, the level kind of is actually one level higher than my highest level character. So I'm walking, so I get in combat less. Although I can maybe handle it. I can probably farm some levels here as well, which uh, I probably should. So yeah, if you do get in combat, there's an option to flee. So just try that. And then hopefully you can make it to the next town and get some upgrades. And then you can maybe come back to uh, an area as strong as your highest level and then farm some levels that way too. And then, I don't know, I found a chest here, which had a shield upgrade. So that last fight I skipped, uh, the first flea failed, so I did take some damage, so if you have a healer, just try and heal up. Okay, so very first thing you should do when you get to this town is you can actually get a free job here. So go to, just like head up towards the back and there will be a guild back there. Just speak to the person in there and they'll give you the dancer job. And then just equip that on someone and it's just going to be some free stats. Don't matter who you equip it on, it's going to be preference um, for the mugging. If you're going to be doing the mugging stuff, I guess you could equip it on Oswald at least temporarily. So he'll have some free stats. Okay, so after you get the job, um, honestly, just go around town, interact with every NPC you can, try and get as much free stuff as you can. Um, if you can beat people with Oswald, I actually recommend doing that first because you'll get everything right away. And then what you, who you can't beat, if you can steal from them, uh, just steal from them. But yeah, so like this guy, you can steal from him. I think, I think I was able to mug him. I, I can't remember. I, I know I got everything from him eventually. I think I just ended up using off wall to get everything. But yeah, just make sure you take advantage of everyone's skills. So up here, uh, the guild where we learned the dancer class, there's more people you can steal from. And yeah, just try and get as much as you can, whatever is useful. And then, yeah, you obviously want to save it every time before. And then just reload your saving if you fail too many times or whatever. Right, so I reloaded my save because I felt some steal attempts, right? And so I was checking out the other NPCs 
uh, what they give you if you mug them or whatever. And so he has a nut, and the nuts will give you permanent stat increases. I just kind of kept spamming elemental barrage in hopes it would uh, break them. So it was a bit RNG. Um, but I mean, it kept working, so I got a few guys down with Oswald. So after you beat them, you'll get the reward, and then you'll just open your inventory to use these items. And yeah, they're going to give you permanent stat increase. This one was uh, SP, which is perfect for my Oswald, because I swear the dude uses the most mana out of all my characters. Also, because I got that nut from the dude, um, I decided to check, and yeah, I had a few that I didn't even use. So this one was like health. And yeah, like you, you can see, I had a few in my inventory, so if you have some, feel free to use them. It's free stats for your characters. Right, so reload the saving again. I'm still in the same town. Um, if you try mugging these guys, they actually have some good gear, and because you can't steal from them, they'll leave during the, the day or whatever when you can mug them or steal from them. So you can only mug them, so you have to fight them. This guy wasn't too bad. I just found Magic Barrage, and he'll drop the helm and the bow. They're really good upgrades. This guy drops a Doombreaker, but his strength is a 5. The other guy was a 3. And you can see what the Doombreaker is right here. You can actually buy it from this lady. And you can see it's quite the upgrade, but uh, I couldn't beat that guy. So what I recommend doing is just head outside of town, or unless you're not level 18, head somewhere near your max level and try and farm some levels there. It won't be too bad. Just uh, make sure you have a healer, I'd say. And the XP you get, honestly, like you'll see right here, my lowest level was level 12 and she leveled up pretty easily. So yeah, just grind out some levels. It will, I mean, it's RPG, you gotta grind, right? 